Hey guys, so I got quite a few records this month. The first four I got was from Savers, which is a thrift store all over the United States. First thing I got was Christmas with Andy Williams and the Williams Brothers. This one has It's the Most Wonderful Time of Year, which I don't have on my other Andy Williams Christmas album. Next I got Stephanie Stills 2. Like the skate pole. I have another Step and Stills album that I got from Omeba. But it's always cool to have more Step and Stills. And I got a lot of Crosby Stills in there. Billy Vaughn and his orchestra Christmas Carol. Now, I've never listened to Billy Vaughn prior to purchasing this record. When I saw this album at Savers, I really liked it. I thought it was a really pretty cover. And I like Christmas Carol. And this also prompted me to actually look up more of his stuff. Look at this. I like this. And here's another record that I just picked up on a whim because I like the album cover. This is Folk Song, Tommy Matola. Oh, look, it has Wayfair and Stranger and Skip to My Lou. I played those on piano. And this has a Music City sleeve. Next, I got one from eBay. I'm still waiting on the other album I got from eBay. This one's the Best of Hermit Termit. I wanted another copy of Best of because my other copy didn't have all the songs by them. Look, at there's a picture of Peter New. And last but not least, I got Pink Floyd, A Saucer Full of Secrets. This album keeps like popping out of the record. Wait. But look at how cool it is. Can you see it? Really cool, isn't it? I gotta clean it. I gotta go buy some like cleaning fluid and clean these records. Now, I went to Target yesterday and I ended up buying more storage for my records and my books. Because I had won a $9 gift card. Well, not $9. $25 gift card. And I had $9 left on the gift card from Target. So I put it towards another bookshelf. Now, I was on Amazon yesterday looking, not yesterday, today, looking up record storage for um, records. And I came across this company called Way Basics that supposedly makes eco-friendly storage for your records. So, has anybody ever used them? Are they good? Because I'm thinking of picking up a few of them to put next to my Kyla shelf. Now, my Kyla shelf is not filled yet, but it's going to get there soon eventually if I keep buying all these records from the thrift store. Because, you know, thrift stores are selling these records for like 75 cents to a dollar, and I can't pass them up if it's one that I, I want. Also, I've been watching a lot of retro TV shows. A lot of Brady Bunch, Bewitch, The Partridge Family, and I've been watching them on Antenna TV, but when Antenna TV doesn't have them, I go and do it the cheap way by trying to find it on YouTube. Now, I don't really care about the quality of the video because I've watched a lot of Brady Bunch episodes on YouTube, Thanks to some random dude on YouTube who uploaded all the Brady Bunch episodes so I could binge watch them. Now, um, I am trying to go to this vegan barbecue festival on Saturday. I have convinced my non-vegan friend to actually go with me, so fingers crossed that she actually does go. Because it'd be kind of cool to go with her. I don't know too many vegans out here in California and that would be kind of nice to you know run into some vegans who also collect records I haven't run into any yet but yeah that concludes my video I'm going to Costco in 30 minutes so I just want to get this video in before I went to Costco so um peace love and grooviness and Click that subscribe button. Bye, guys. Peace.